Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is a quick one, of course, from the Power of Bay, the 119th edition, where in the closing moments of the stage, we had the second group on the road, which was Yves Lampard and Matej Morohic. And they're coming, well, closing up. It was going to be a podium. Dilman Val take a victory. And then we we're going to have the Slovenian and the Belgian perhaps end up on the podium. But it seemed like uh, fans getting involved in bike racing hasn't finished even though we had a big deal about that last year, remember, uh, OMI, OP scandal, of course. So this is probably the new one. The Belgian, of course, has been on the podium before in Paro Bay, was looking to kind of end this misery of Quickstep Alpha Vinyl that they've been having this year in the couple classics after in Tour of Flanders that they, they didn't have anyone in the top 10. But if we look at it here, we can see Yves Lampard, he comes close to the fans here. We can see uh man he's clapping there and just about if we look a bit closer we can make out that there's contact between his clapping hands and the quick step alpha vinyl rider this then kind of tilts or off balances him a bit and Yves Lampard tries to save the bike dives down and then unfortunately the bike goes all over the place and he does this incredible somersault unfortunately and hits the cobble sector quite hard and what an absolutely catastrophe this is for Quick Step Alpha Final and the, their team, their result. This was, yeah, going to be an incredible result for the Belgian getting finishing on the podium once again. But alas, a fan getting involved on uh, Paro Bay, the biggest monument of this, well, of the year. And uh, yeah, his dreams of a second podium, potentially finishing second even. Uh, just being robbed from him. He did manage to somehow recover uh, in the race and managed to finish in 10th place. But yeah, not the best result for Yves Lampard and Quickstep Alpha Vinyl. So yeah, at least he finished inside the top 10. That's all we can say. But what is going to happen with that fine now? The precedent of what happened with Umi Opi um, getting uh, in a court case. Of course, it was an ASO race as well in France, and we are in France again, in an ASO race. So potentially there can be actions to follow this. Who knows? Of course, the difference between these two was that this was only one rider and uh, the other one in the Tour de France involved a lot more riders. So who knows? But yeah, what a shame. And But what an incredible race it was as well. So that's basically it for this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and uh, check out our extra channel as well if you haven't already. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.